Hi, you're with Chandeep once again. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some filter shortcuts that will make your filter smart and really, really quick. Before I begin, for this video, you'll have to learn something called as auto filter, which I have already discussed in one of the previous videos. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description and you can just go and learn auto filter first. But for now, I have already activated auto filter. If you don't know how auto filter works, you can see that on my quick access toolbar, I have activated something called as auto filter and you can activate that too by looking at the video and once you activate auto filter you have the capability of applying filter by selection what i mean is that if i want to filter for records of swati all i can do is select swati and i'm going to use the shortcut alt 4 because auto filter is on the fourth position and it's going to filter for swati in swati if i want to filter for east i'm going to use alt 4 again and it's going to filter for swati and for east now using auto filter i'm going to share some tactics to make your filters even more smarter and faster let's discuss the first one so imagine that we have profit here and i'd like to filter out all the records more than 5000 so in the last cell where my data ends just next to that adjacent to that i'm going to write greater than 5000 right and then I'm going to select that cell and apply the auto filter, Alt 4, or I can even just click here, but I prefer Alt 4. So Alt 4, and I now have records more than 5,000. That's really, really awesome. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Let's say I'd like to have the records which are on or after the year 2007. So I'm going to write greater than 1st Jan 2007, uh, just as the way that I wrote 5000 here, uh, I'm going to write the same thing right here. And this is going to filter for uh, records which are more than this date. Actually, let me just write that equals to uh, greater than equals to 1st Jan 2007. So it's also going to include that date. Now, when I press Alt 4, you can see that I have all the records which are more than 1st Jan 2007. If I want to come back to the original data, right now the data is filtered. You can see the blue rows, the data is filtered. I want to come back. I can just press the shortcut Control Shift L and the filter gets removed. All right, couple of tactics with a text column. So here is a text column. We, I'd like to apply some filters here. So let's say, for example, I'd like to filter for all the sales representative, which has four letters in their names. Uh, so I'm going to write four question marks, which is a wild card in Excel question mark means a particular character So I'm saying there are four particular characters, but I know neither one of them So I'm just going to write that and you again use the shortcut alt 4 and we can have uh, Everybody whose name is just a four letter word um, Let's try another one. So let's say for example, I want to filter for somebody who has the second alphabet as a so the first alphabet i don't know so i'm going to write a question mark the second alphabet is a and after a there could be anything an asterisk stands for anything so i'm just going to use alt 4 again and i have everybody whose name uh, has the second alphabet as a isn't that cool all right so what you could do is you could play around with these wild cards which is a question mark and asterisk you have understood the meaning of the asterisk and the question mark hopefully and you can also play around with the greater than less than in the numbers or the date ranges well that's about it if you have any questions regarding these little tactics please feel free to drop me a comment i'll be more than happy to help you out thanks so much for watching this and do take care of yourselves Bye bye